Again, I'm the author and creator of this um, YouTube uh, mixed martial arts channel. And today, episode uh, 2A is dedicated to the Kazakhstani mixed martial artist called Valentina Shevchenko. Valentina Shevchenko is one of the outstanding uh, sports personalities of the 21st century. She has many similarities to her male counterpart, George St. Pierre. Uh, George St. Pierre um, and Valentina Shevchenko are extraordinarily good ambassadors for their country, Canada and Kazakhstan, respectively, and for their sports. Um, whereas um, George St. Pierre is now a retired mixed martial artist, Valentina Shevchenko is very much alive as a mixed martial artist. Both outstanding personalities, outstanding sports uh, individuals. So early life, uh, she was born in Kazakhstan, uh, March 7th, 1988. She was born in Bishkek, Bishkek in Kazakhstan. She has, um, her original nationality was of course Russian. She's a fluent Russian speaker, but actually she has current nationality with Kazakhstan and with Peru. Peru. Now, even though she's now uh, one of the world's leading mixed martial artists, her early years in the martial arts was actually spent uh, in Taekwondo. And then she transitioned um, later to Mutai. Her mother is the president of the Kazakhstani Mutai Association. And her sister was also a, a Mutai a practitioner. Now, we know her as the multiple award-winning world champion for mixed martial arts, but in actual fact, she was many times the world champion uh, in Mutai. She made her MMA debut, debut in 2003, um, and she was very successful in her early years outside the UFC. She then transitioned to the UFC, the world's leading MMA organization in 2015. She is currently the world champion at the flyweight division, but she's actually a two-time champion. What about notable fights? Well, I would actually include um, Amanda Nunes, uh, as part of her uh, exceptional fights, I think she won the second fight against Amanda Nunes. So I think the Amanda Nunes, uh, Valentina Shevchenko um, track record is one each, whereas the record books shows it two zero in uh, Nunes's favor. Okay, but in terms of non uh, in terms of non Amanda Nunes contests, we'd have to look at Joanna J and Jessica I. So let's have a look. So Valentina Shevchenko's first fight with Joanna J was not her UFC de debut, but it was a significant bout in her career. They fought for the vacant UFC Women's Flyweight Championship at 231 um, on December the 8th, 8, 2018. Shevchenko won the fight via unanimous decision because of her superior striking and grappling skills. Shevchenko's first fight against Jessica I took place 2019, June the 8th, and it was UFC 238. And this was Shevchenko's first defense as the reigning world women's flyweight champion. And she dominated the first round with striking and grappling. In the second round, she delivered a devastating head kick that knocked out Jessica I. 20 seconds into the, 26 seconds into the round. Personal life, she's an incredibly, um, versatile sports lady she's very competent at uh, shooting she's an um, she's a very very enthusiastic amateur dancer but she's actually highly proficient um, as a shootist now languages of course her mother tongue is russian she speaks fluent english she speaks fluent um, spanish and i believe she speaks some or maybe more than some thai so legacy while remembering the fact that she's this supreme role model for aspiring female fighters, anyone would want, any lady would like to be uh, Valentina Shevchenko. She's glamorous. She's incredibly fit. She looks like a film star. She is a film star. She's appeared with Halle Berry in 2020 in the film Bruised. She's so successful in her chosen profession. profession. She's won many Fighter of the Year awards. Let's look at the film issue. Valentina Shevchenko has also ventured into acting, showcasing her versatility. 
beyond the fighting arena. She appeared in the 2020 action movie Bruised. She appeared with uh, Halle Berry. Halle Berry, of course, directed it and took the starring role. But Shevchenko took up the play the part of the baddie, Lady Killer. And what about an inspirational quote? The most important thing is to believe in yourself and never give up. No matter how hard the journey is, keep pushing forward and stay true to your dreams.